Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of ARM processor video lecture series and in this video I will be discussing about comparison of Cortex A, Cortex M and Cortex R series of ARM processors. In my previous video I have already explained what is ARM IP core and how ARM is providing their cores to various companies. So here also you should know my dear students when ARM is designing their IP core that design is there based on different needs. So here when we talk about Cortex A series of ARM that is designed for advanced performance right. So advanced performance that is required in computer, mobile, tablet right in desktop we need to have advanced performance. So for that ARM have designed Cortex A series. When we talk about Cortex R series then that has been designed by ARM for real time applications right like for robotics we need to have fast response like for hard disk we need to have fast response so for that arm have designed cortex r series and when we talk about cortex m series then that is designed for embedded system so here in embedded system major issue is there regarding power and for that arm have designed cortex m series let us compare all these three categories step by step so my dear students when we talk about ARM Cortex series then that is available with Cortex A, Cortex R and Cortex M and here with respect to parameters I will be comparing them. My dear students when we talk about performance then Cortex A that is designed for high performance remember this right and Cortex R that is designed for minimum latency or you can say it is designed for real time operating system and Cortex M that is designed for low power consumption with embedded system. So obviously when we talk about performance then Cortex A that is having highest performance Cortex R is having good performance compared to Cortex M series right. Here response times that will be fastest with Cortex R why the reason is this Cortex R that is designed for real time operating system right Cortex A is also having very good response time and Cortex M that will be having medium response time. Here my dear students when we talk about power consumption then you should know Cortex M that is designed for embedded system right in which we need to have minimum power consumption. The reason is all the applications that will be there with respect to battery operated system and in that we need to have minimum power consumption right. So you will be observing power consumption that is very less with Cortex M. Here it is 1 micro watt per megahertz frequency that is how power consumption is happening and with Cortex R that power consumption is highest that is 120 micro watt per megahertz and with Cortex A it is having 80 micro watt per megahertz. But my dear students with Cortex A and Cortex R you will be observing you are already provided with power right. So in that you don't need to worry about this power consumption but with embedded system that power consumption that is essential issue as we operate system with battery right. Here my dear students when we talk about processor then Cortex A that is having highest performance and that is there based on application right. Here that Cortex R that is designed for real time operating system and that Cortex M that is designed for embedded system. Here my dear students when we talk about pipelining then pipelining provides you excellent performance right. So as if you have long pipelining then obviously you will be having highest performance. So with Cortex A you will be having long pipeline. With Cortex R we are having median pipeline right it is also having good performance but not better compared to Cortex A. And with Cortex M you will be observing short pipeline is there right. The reason is here performance is not the major issue as our application is not having that much load right application load that will be highest with Cortex A that's why it needs to have long pipeline. Here for small scale applications you need to have better power consumption 
and in that you will be having short pipeline. Here my dear students when we talk about clock then obviously clock is also defining performance right higher the clock higher the speed of execution. So with Cortex A you will be having high clock with Cortex R also we are having high clock but relatively less clock will be there with Cortex M series right. Here my dear students when we talk about memory then here cache memory with more size will be there with Cortex A. The reason is memory management unit that is functioning with respect to inbuilt cache memory on chip right. So for high performance you need to have cache memory. Remember cache memory will provides you highest performance right. So larger size of cache is required with Cortex A for high performance. With Cortex R you will be having cache memory as well as tightly coupled memory. Now you might be thinking why there is a need of tightly coupled memory. The reason is here you are not deal with to have any latency. Well defined response should be there. So whenever you have real time operating system in that critical task is been performed at that time it is very essential you should have tightly coupled memory which is having fixed response time. See cache memory is fast but it is not having fixed response time right. So for cache memory and tightly coupled memory in future I will be making separate videos in which you will get to know how exactly both of these memories are functioning right. And here with Cortex M we are having lesser size of cache memory right. Here we are not operating with real time system so you don't need to have tightly coupled memory. But for real time operating system you need to have tightly coupled memory and for better performance you need to have cache memory right. So cache memory will be highest with Cortex A, it will be medium with Cortex R but as per real time operating system you need to have TCM memory. Here my dear students when we talk about instruction set for ISA standard with ARM then you will be observing for high performance ARM instructions are required right. So that is available with Cortex A and Cortex R but for low power consumption you can have thumb mode as well right. So thumb mode that is having instructions available with 16 bits right. So that could be utilized with Cortex M right. So it is also having ARM mode it is not like ARM mode is not supported with Cortex M but for better power consumption you will be operating with thumb mode in which instruction size will be of 16 bits right. Here floating point unit that is optional with Cortex M but it will be obviously there with Cortex A and Cortex R right. Floating point unit executes instructions based on floating points right. So for higher precision of accuracy of calculation you need to have floating point unit. So obviously it will be available with Cortex A series, Cortex R series but that will be optional with Cortex M. As if it is required obviously it will be provided but if it is not required if it is possible to execute everything with thumb mode then you don't need to have FEU it is optional over here with Cortex M. Here if you see the applications then for reach applications Cortex A series that is there with ARM in that you will be having mobile as well as you will be having computer that will be having requirement of high performance right. You can have IP router even. With Cortex R we are having real time applications in which robotics can be there in which you can have hard disk right. So that is working based on real time applications which requires Cortex R series and with Cortex M series we are having embedded system based applications. You can have headphone, you can have arm belt. So this kind of applications are there right. So that is how different series are there with ARM processor. I hope it is clear to you now how those series are available for different industries and how industries were utilizing this core. Still if any query is there just post that in comment box I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.